You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. And good Tuesday morning. Search crews trying to track down wreckage from Flight 370 have a new game plan today using more ships and planes to cover a smaller, more concentrated area. As one task force leader says, they are throwing everything they have got at this difficult and complex task. ABC's Clayton Sandell is in Perth, Australia with the very latest details. Good morning. Good morning. We've just gotten an update from officials here, and the headline is this. Search teams have not had any new contact with those underwater signals they hoped were coming from Malaysia 370. You'll recall the Australian ship, the Ocean Shield, using this U.S. Navy pinger locator, detected two distinct signals over the weekend that are consistent with the signal that would be sent out by an airplane's cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder. But in the last 24 hours, officials here say they have not heard any more of those pings. If we can get more ping, uh, well, more transmissions, uh, we can get a better fix on the ocean floor, which will enable a much more narrowly focused visual search for, wreck for wreckage. If they do detect more of those pings, the team will then deploy this underwater torpedo looking device called the Bluefin 21 that uses sonar to map the ocean floor and in theory would help reveal the wreckage of that Boeing 777. Right now we're about 600 feet above the water. This New Zealand airplane is one of about a dozen on the search today. The problem is the weather. If there is any wreckage out there, it's going to be a lot harder to see. Officials here admit there is still some doubt about whether those pings are actually coming from Malaysia 370's black boxes, but they say it is their best lead yet and to expect several more days of intense action to try and track that signal down. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Perth, Australia. All right, thank you, Clayton. Stay with ABC News for the very latest on the search for Flight 370. We'll have a live report coming up on Good Morning America.